Hi, everybody. My name is Sarah, Pearls of Wisdom and Food. How is your stress eating right now? How are you doing with it? You know, it, this thing that's coming up and all the expectations and all the needs of your everyday life. It's so funny when we, when we um, get a food plan going, a way of eating, a way of life, and it's all consuming <clears throat> while we gather our knowledge of things and how, how we're supposed to eat, what we're supposed to shop for, how do we cook and prepare and, you know, cook, twi cook once and eat twice and all that kind of good stuff. And then, and then the holiday season is upon us. And it's like, oh my God, I thought I was busy before. Oh my, how am I going to do this? And stress eating could slip in. Now, when you're stress eating, each person, of course, is different or you're just handling, coping with the stress of right now, um, we all have different ways that we deal with it. Um, for somebody like me, the first thing that would go would be taking care of me and my personal stuff. What is my personal stuff with my way of eating, my way of life? Well, it would be, it would definitely be the tracker. I might not track for a day or two. I might just kind of leave it off and just kind of go, I'll figure it out. As long as I keep the items in my food plan, and in my case, with the ketogenic diet, it would be no sugars or grains, um, then I'll be okay. Does that mean I'll have processed other people's foods, um, convenience things, um, snacky snacks, just uh, grab and go, shove it in, more than two meals a day, all that kind of stuff. Well, it could get to that, but um, but I don't, I can't let it happen because it's so slippery for me. Um, another another place where the stress eating might be able to um, ferment <laughs> would be when you stop weighing and measuring your items, and it's like, okay, for example. I'm doing a ketogenic diet. Okay, so I'm just having steak and green beans and steamed broccoli. Okay, I can do that. Do I need to have the scale to measure out those things? Do I need to measure out the fats that I'm putting on these things? Um, so if I'm only, so what's the difference if, I, if I'm not having four ounces of steak and I kind of let six or eight ounces come in instead? At least I'm eating the safe things for my food plan. Is that okay? Well, it's okay, but if you're not tracking, of course, your truth isn't there in front of you. Um, for somebody like me, I need to see on the screen what I'm having. Um, and so, you know, is your, is your um, coffee or tea um, add-ins becoming free pouring? You know, like when you go into a bar and people use um, jiggers or, um, you know, shot glasses to measure how many ounces goes in the drink versus the, the free pour people that go like this. I was a free pourer when I was a bartender. That's why people loved coming to my bar. Huh. Happy hour never was happier. And um, so you become a free pourer of the add-ins, be it um, artificial sweeteners or um, alternative sweeteners like what I use, which is Zyla, uh, heavy whipping cream, uh, coconut milk, um, half and half, light cream, I don't know, whatever, the coconut oil that you might put in a bulletproof coffee, the butter, are you a free pourer or do you measure it all out? And stuff can get pretty darn slippery even if you're sticking with the food items in your plan. And so um, for me, I'm finding that I'm having kind of the same um, first meal of the day as I had the day before. And it's just easy peasy, it just comes right to mind and I know it's filling and it lasts me till the next time I eat, which is four to five hours, and it all works. And I have all of the things here in the house. And so that makes it safe for me. Um, most of you know what I've been eating lately. It's a tablespoon of nut butter um, with celery sticks that I, you know, can spread the nut butter on. It is um, organic English cucumber. So I've got those fibrous things going, the crunchy crunch, and then I have a hard-boiled Pete and Jerry egg sliced up with lots of pepper on it and Himalayan pink salt. And um, the um, turkey and ham slices that have no nitrites or nitrates in them. 
And then for dessert, dessert, mm -hmm. the final thing is um, a quarter ounce cashews that are raw and organic and a quarter ounce of macadamia nuts that are raw. And um, that seems to suit me just fine and it carries over nicely. A couple hours later, I'll have my bone broth, which carries me even further. And so, and I have a good supply of bone broth, plus my present of two dozen little grab-and-goes um, Pacific uh, chicken bone broth with ginger that's organic that um, Joyce the Pickle gave me for Christmas. And so I have those sort of things and then my usual dinner. But am I still tracking through this busy time? Mm-hmm. Am I still weighing and measuring? Mm-hmm. I, um, I am a free pourer. Um, true confession with um, butter and coconut oil no coconut oil no um, butter and heavy whipping cream um, I'm usually just filling to the mark on my Nutribullet because I'm going to whip it up as <clears throat> my bulletproof coffee and so um, it's the way that I roll it's a true confession so is it more than a tablespoon of butter that goes in my um, bulletproof coffee it could be um, the butter in my Bulletproof coffee is not my problem. It's the stress eating that comes later. And um, so, if some of you are stress eating and just making it through and um, relying on other people's cooking and um, perhaps letting grains and sugars eke into your food plan because you're treating yourself to some sort of Starbucks thing as you go to shop or perhaps some sort of takeout thing when you come home, and you're calling it dinner for your family because you've got too many other things to do post-dinner. Um, you know, it, it's a coping thing, and it's what's going to work for you. Are you still weighing yourself, or are you going to just assess the damage on December 28th? <laughs> we do what we do, right? And we're not going to beat ourselves up about what we do. But if you are stress eating, and you don't want to be stress eating, you know... Um, I just listed for you the steps that I take to keep my eating and choices under control, which begins with my tracker and ends with the tracker foods matching what I put in my mouth. And I'm not nibbling, and I'm not eating standing up, and I'm not, you know, in the car shoving in things as I go. As I said before, if you're in the middle of some marathon shopping or even downstairs wrapping or whatever it is that you have have to have to do take that little insulated lunch um, bag that you bring to work and put your grab and goes in there put a couple of eggs um, hard-boiled eggs put some um, cheese sticks or uh, you know put some of those Justin's um, almond butter to go things down there with some um, celery that you can put it on. Bring some carrots and cucumbers too. Anything that's a, a munch stress reliever because I know for me my mouth sometimes wants to be chewing. That's a sign to my brain that I'm having something and um, that with the cruciferous veggies is great. And then adding the fat protein on the side. Roll up some turkey. Some people like to um, roll um, turkey or ham around pickles or um, cucumbers. Huh. Cucumbers and pickles, the same thing, just how you want to eat them. And um, so there's all sorts of things, but it's just keeping it under control. And when it comes to dinner, easy peasy. Tonight I'm having bison burgers on the grill and my broccoli slaw salad. What could be more simple? And it works. And by the time I'm done with my bowl of broccoli slaw with other veggies added into it, I know I've eaten because it's reached my stomach and there's olive oil in it and the olive oil says to my brain, thank you, I love fat. So, take it, take it easy if you can, be good to yourself, put yourself at the top of the list, know where you slip in your food plan. Is it not tracking? Is it not measuring? Is it just flying free form and allowing any kind of food that you're gonna have saying, I can't deal with it now, I just can't deal with it now? Know where your slippery slopes are and take care of yourself. Um, you know, at the end, it's food and it should be nourishing. And hopefully it's good and dense for you right now, this time of year, when you need a power-packed body to handle all of the stressors and the copes that we have. 
This has been Sarah, Pearls of Wisdom and Food. Look out for those stressors. Bye-bye for now.